I'm sure you've seen the Cat Williams interview on Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp. If you haven't, go watch it. This video has broken the internet and sparked truckloads of reactions. In that video, Cat Williams exposed many secrets about Hollywood and the entertainment industry and called out many celebrities. But that's not all. The explosive interview contains some spiritual truths that will benefit Christians and everybody who cares to pay attention. So in this reaction video, we explore what Cat Williams said about the truth and defended it. But before we proceed, kindly note that this video is not to bash anyone or take sides, but to help us understand God on a deeper level and answer real life questions in our hearts using the Bible. So let's dive right into the video. I don't know. I don't know, Cat. We might not let you drink anymore the way you you. I mean, we ain't even got. I'm not fueled by alcohol. I've had a sip less than you. The truth don't need motivation. I'm just saying I can't let these dudes lie. Is Cat Williams defending the truth? Well, I can't tell for sure, but I can say that his statement, I can't let those dudes lie, is profound and commendable, and you got to respect it. It is a call to everyone to stand for the truth and what they believe and a testament to his courage to say his own truth. We live in a world where the cancel culture gags people and stops them from speaking what is true. The fear of being ostracized, boycotted, or shunned by the majority for speaking in the way that makes a particular group uncomfortable has forced many to allow lies to thrive while the truth is buried. This is not what the Bible says and definitely not what being a believer represents. The Bible says the righteous are bold as a lion. That's in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1, because they have the spirit of God inside them. When the apostle Paul stood trial before Agrippa and Festus in Acts chapter 26, verse 1 through 32, he confidently told his testimony how he encountered God and proclaimed his faith in Jesus Christ despite being in chains and risking being imprisoned or executed. He stood by the truth and the truth set him free. How many times have we heard that before? <laughs> Anyways, what about you? Can you confidently stand before those speaking evil about you and your faith and defend the gospel of truth? Can you boldly confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior, even if it will cost you reputation or impact your means of livelihood? You have the Spirit's boldliness within you. You can tap into it. And one thing I gotta add about Cat Williams is, even though when said and Steve Harvey, how he calls out those people, in his own version uh, on the show i gotta respect and it's also wise that he didn't react to twitter or take to social media immediately after their interviews and call them out on it he waited and used this platform to do that i mean it seems like there's a time and a place for everything and it seems like cat williams chose the right time or maybe even the perfect time to do so but that's just my input Let's play the next clip. Winners are not allowed to allow losers to rewrite history. Being humble is excellent. And it's something I work on improving myself and practice as well. The Bible strongly encourages it. However, you must understand that talking about your achievements is not pride as long as you give God the glory. You must not believe the lie of the devil, which says proclaiming God's goodness in your life is pride. <laughs> nah, don't get it twisted. Keeping quiet stops people from seeing and appreciating the power of God and what he can do in their lives. You are a winner because you are in God's camp and God has commanded us to declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. And that's in Psalm chapter 96, verse three. Not doing so is disobedience. Worst of all, you give the enemy the platform and power to push his agenda and soil the name of the Lord. Your silence amplifies the voice of wickedness and mediocrity. Therefore, open your mouth and share your wins and victories with the help of God. You got to give that man his glory. I came in this business saying I was going to expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. I must give it to Cat Williams. Yo, if I ever meet that brother in person, I will buy him a drink as a gesture. The brother is preaching. There's no sitting on the sidelines or on the fence when it comes to the truth. You are either on God's side or the devil's side. Two kingdoms are battling for your soul, the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. You must bow down to one. There is no middle ground. Denying one is accepting the other. 
It just gave me a call back to my Patrick Bet David video reaction. There's risk in choosing one side or the other. I'll put the link in description. But God where it says in Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. Those who want life embrace God. On the flip side, accepting the other side means signing up for your destruction. When the devil gives you a cap, he takes your head as payment. See what happened to Judas Iscariot. He took 30 pieces of silver from the devil to portray Jesus, but paid with his life. Take a stand for the truth, believe in God, and receive freedom and life. It ain't gonna come easy. Nothing in the Bible says it will be easy. But that example I just mentioned is to illustrate that the devil collects more from anyone he gives anything to, and the price one pays always exceeds what he offers. Let's play the next clip. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TG Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. I need to have no more of these. Amen, amen. Gee. The truth is the light. All lies will be exposed. <laughs> Yo, that's powerful. I'll drink to that. And I haven't had cognac in the wild, but I just might after that one. This profound statement reminds me of what God's word says in John chapter 1, verse 5. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Jesus is the light and he has come to destroy all works of darkness. He has come to expose the tricks and gimmicks of the devil and set people free from physical, mental, and spiritual slavery. Lie is a weapon the enemy deploys against people to destroy them. Those under its influence are in bondage, heading toward destruction, but God has empowered you to share the good news, to set the captive free and deliver the oppressed. We are in the season when God is raising up men who will expose the lies and secrets of the devil without fear. You're one of these people God will use. Jesus says you are the light of the world. However, your light is of no use if you cover it. You must rise and let your light shine before men so they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. And that's in Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 through 16. You must deploy the weapon of light to cast down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. And that's in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. Amen to that. And maybe a sip of cognac too. Just a sip, not too much. Next clip. Like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What powerful. do you mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. That's why, do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. Cat Williams once again states another deep spiritual truth. We must not be afraid of Satan because he is powerless and incapable of creating anything. He is an imposter. The Bible says he disguises himself as the angel of light. And that's in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. But in truth, he has lost his glory and place in heaven. He is condemned and will spend eternity in hell. Many people fear Satan because they believe he can kill them. But the Bible says, I am he who lives and was dead and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. And that's in Revelation chapter 1 verse 18. You are much more powerful than Satan. More than you can ever imagine. You're created in God's image, meaning you have God's spirit and power within you. Your words can create the same way God spoke the earth into form. So when you command the devil, he must obey. Jesus has given you the power and authority to trample on snakes, scorpions, and the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. However, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. And that's in Luke chapter 10, verse 19 to 20. Satan is under your feet. I'm an author of four books, links in the description. I hope you got the message in this video. If you want to subscribe to my email list, link in the description as well. And I hope you enjoyed the content we're throwing up.
And lastly, this video is sponsored by coffee because I do these videos early in the morning before I take my kids to school. So if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.